what's up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you guys because as y'all can see what's going on behind me we've got some awesome Loonian attack guys on our town hall 8 we've got some pretty epic battles for y'all so y'all can see this guy right here um we are coming in hot against el Mako, going to town with our loons and our minions so i've switched some things up with my attack strategy and that mainly comes down to the army composition itself guys i'm putting um nine balloons in one barrack nine balloons in another barrack and then eight in the other two so that's nine 18 plus 16 is what is that 34 so 34 balloons and then the rest minions i believe that it's only uh 15 I believe it's only 15 minions because the loons are doing a great job of clearing everything out right now guys but Here's one, here's, here's a little thing that I wanted to ask you guys y'all's opinion on. So, you can see this guy's got his skeleton traps, right? Um, I've always had a little bit of an issue with how defensive troops um, attack offensive troops, alright? So, you can see right here, we're going to set off these guys right here. Watch these minions, okay? They're not going to turn to the skeletons until they're already being attacked. Um, so, watch this little guy right here. He's almost dead. He's going to come over here. He's going to get one... And then two hits off on that minion before it turns to him. I don't think that's how it should be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below on that. How you think the defensive troops should be. I think that my minion, once aggroed by, um, or once it has aggroed something else, I think that it should turn and focus it. I mean, that's what happens to the king all the time. The king can get distracted by clan castle troops a bunch and they'll just go and run over the walls blah 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 and do all this stupid stuff so that's one little issue that i've been realizing a lot lately it's been bothering me so let me know what you guys think about that down below also let me know what you think about a level two king i think it was taking away half of my le of my level 10 king i know it wasn't from the wizard tower because that wizard tower was doing no damage whatsoever just then to our king but um Guys, we absolutely crushed that base. It gave us a good, good, good amount of trophies. Um, they're going to go ahead and finish up attacking right here. But um, <clears throat> my base is working okay. The new one that you guys saw, <laughs> not really. It's gotten two-starred by a max hog attack with healers, which wasn't bad. I mean, two-star against that isn't bad at all. And then it got three-starred. But look, we just got 32 trophies off of that. That was awesome. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into another attack right here as well uh this guy is pretty much a max town hall seven uh who just got to town hall eight so that's why his walls are all messed up all this kind of stuff um but we saw this and it offers a good amount of cups so we were gonna take it out he did not have that much loot at all i mean four thousand gold Molt, what the heck are you thinking you need to upgrade some stuff stop it <laughs> but we're going for trophies i think i'm gonna go to masters league guys um and I want you guys to let me know uh, what you think I should do. Loonian is working amazing right now, especially when I have all three of my spells. is working really, really well. Um, I'm finding some Town Hall Snipes, which I think is going to be the majority of the push. Whenever I find a Town Hall Snipe, taking it. And then whenever I find a Town Hall 8 or like a crappy Town Hall 9, going to take it as well. Um, but as you can see right here, we've taken out almost all the defenses with our loons. This strategy is working so well using this many loons because they just absolutely wreck the defenses. And then once it's all clear, we just need a couple minions because minions do good damage on their own. They really do, especially when they have time. Um, and we've got 30 seconds right here for them to just absolutely go to town. We're going to take out his king right here in one shot. But I'm having fun with this push, guys. I'm boosting my barracks. I'm going for a while. I think I might... Go back to a farming base and just throw my town hall out so that I just get one starred and so that people don't mess with me too much and two star me uh, and whatnot. So we might switch over to that. I'm not too sure yet. Let me know what you guys think about that. A lot of y'all commented that in the last video and said, Molt, you need to just go with a farming base, protect your dark elixir, and just raid for a couple hours straight. Get 100, 150 trophies, lose 10, get a nice shield, so on and so forth. But um yeah that's pretty much gonna be it guys i'm just messing around with some stuff right here you can see that we've done pretty well with our victories we got a town hall snipe and then another loonian right there but thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it i love you all very much make sure that y'all leave a like on the video for me if you do like it that really really does help us youtubers out let us know that we're doing something right and so on so uh, let's see if we can hit like 3,000 likes on this that'd be awesome but otherwise guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the videos and as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me right i'll see you guys later peace